I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. Uh, I've never met her. It's been 30 years. Real anxious. That's how long Spencer Williams has been waiting to meet his biological mother. The Pickens man was just five months old when his mother was forced to give him up for adoption in Alaska. The Army veteran posted a note on Ancestry.com when he turned 18, but never heard anything until earlier this year. Twelve years later, on my way back to Afghanistan, I get a phone call in the Atlanta airport, and it was my mom telling me my birth mom had found me. The two talked online for two months, but Thursday's face-to-face -face reunion was long overdue and full of tears. <laughs> Spencer's mother, Janice Lobau, says she also used Google and Ancestry.com but had little luck until she found the adopted mother's name and gave her a call. I never thought I'd find him because all my avenues were dead ends. And, uh... I knew he was out there, and then when I found him, it was like, oh my God. The 48-year-old real estate broker was 17 when she became pregnant, had a low-income job, and didn't get support from her single mother. I didn't know of low-income housing. I didn't know of public assistance. I didn't know that there was options out there for me. The caseworker asked me, have you ever thought about adoption? She said, Janice, what do you want for your son? And I said, I want him to have a good life. I want him to be loved. I don't want him to go through hell. And she said there are people out there that'll do that for you. You're yeah, right now. <laughs> 30 years later, both are happy to be together and hope to start a new chapter in their lives. After all these years and wondering, it was nice. I never thought this day would happen. Never, not in a million years. Didn't think that uh, she would ever find me or I would find her. A bond they hope will grow stronger this Mother's Day weekend. In Colombia, Zoheb Hasnali, Watch Fox News. I always had to do what God had guided me to find for my son, and it is you.